Okay, now Purity wants to show us where she sleeps at night. See, these are chickens. These are another poultry. This wet waste bin is a refuge bin area. Can you see? Refuge are all around. So she managed to create a poultry there. And beside the poultry, she laid a bed and a net. Please let me see the bed. You can bend down. Try to enter and do as you're sleeping. So this is where this lovely girl sleeps at night. You can see. Okay, you can come out, purity. Good day, everyone, and today you're welcome to Vlogmas Day Three. What are we gonna be doing today? Today we have the story of an interesting young African uh, lady that has gone through lots of challenges was almost thinking about giving up her life till she came across with Sessions Foundation and the story just started this way. So today I'd like you to meet with me in the studio. I was just outside uh, our place and I met this wonderful girl singing and before you know what was happening I just see what you're doing and she, she started the story and I want you to hear from her very much. It's my pleasure to introduce to you today you're welcome to Cetra's Foundation today and Cetra's Vlog on Cetra's Vlog. Thank you, ma. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Uh, purity that you have seen by my side today, she's a girl that life has shown here and there. She has lots of experiences, terrible experiences. So I just went out of the foundation place just for some things. I just met her singing picking the dust bin, picking plastic from the bin, from the waste bin. And she said, I approached her, so you just see the rest. And she said, Hello, young lady. How are you? Fine. Eh, how is everything with you? Thank God. This thing you are picking, like how much uh, is the sale of this your stuff? How much do you get? Um, we usually measure it in the scale. The money is not much, so when we finish gathering it, we carry it to the company where they buy it. So they measure it in the scale. They pay us according to the scale, according to the weight. Okay, because I was even thinking of maybe, you know, we just used to dump it in the dustbin. I just feel maybe I can just be putting it out. Maybe when I have much, I can be putting out. Well, that would be very kind of you. Hey, okay. I would like it. Okay, so very... when you gather it, if I come out, carry it. Okay, very good. Okay, so now, this job that you are doing now, is it what you love doing? Is it what you love doing? No. Uh -huh. Not what I love doing. It's just that what I see to do. Uh -huh. Just a way of face cream. Mm -hmm. What other thing do you do apart from this? I have a I have fowl that I'm training. I'm training fowls. I can't many fowl. Chickens, you mean chicken, Abby? Small, yes. small chicken. Yes. Like how many? They are, they, are, they are not many, Shah. They are small, small. They are still growing. Where are you living? Around this place. Not too far, but a little far, Shah. Is it a one bedroom flat or three bedroom flat? <laughs> no. Yeah. Not, no. It's not a block house. It's a place. It just, it's a place that manages. I hide my head in the night. Is it Paco House? Well, something like that. So now what what is the thing you like doing? Maybe like do you like maybe weaving air or doing catering or stuff? What do you like doing apart from this and that area for what do you like doing? Um actually I don't like uh, I don't like all this uh, skill work. 
hand work or something like that. It doesn't occur in my mind. But well, what do you like? I like to write. It's been something that I've been doing right from when I was small. Mm -hmm. so, it's something that I love doing. Mm -hmm. So I just like to write. It's because of what I I I be uh, I I was passing through, you know. Sometimes it will be all over me, and now, and so I wouldn't have a way of releasing the emotions in me, other than to be writing them down. So when I was small, when the thing got to me too much, you know, so I would just begin to. Are you crying? Help will come for you. So why I'm asking you is because there is a foundation that is to help children that are interested in one skill. Maybe they don't have father, they don't have mother. They are interested in one skill or the other. You understand? So they will help you. I know how challenging life might be. So you don't have to cry. You are not the only one that have cried before. Even me that you have seen so many times. So, but I know that help will arise for you. So that's why the foundation is around somewhere here to help youths like you that are thinking of giving up. Do you understand? So that's why we are here. And I know that help will arise for you. So it's because of what I'm passing through. Sometimes I, I used to wish that I'm dead. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. You used to wish that you are dead? <sighs> because of this problem, you know, I couldn't finish my... I couldn't finish my school level. I dropped out and... Don't worry. Take away from that side. Don't worry. Don't worry. That will be right there for you. I believe. I want to tell you that God is interested in your life. No matter what you've gone through, Jesus is interested in you. And that's why he has made it possible for us to see you today. But to be honestly, this year, 2021, you know, I've, I've been wondering if I'm, I'm going to cross over to 2022. It's just the way I'm feeling. I don't know. A time in my life, I would just need to know and wish that I was never born. Hmm. Pour it out. Pour it out. Pour it out as it is in your mind. I'm ready to listen. I, I started living on my own right from when I was small. What age? I was barely 10 years old. Hmm. My mom threw me out. She was giving me to people to take care of me. She didn't know what I was passing through in their hands. And up to this age, I was still on my own. <laughs> Honestly, this thing that I'm doing is just my... I thank God for this very thing. Some years back, I was begging on the streets. When someone introduced me to those things, it became the only thing that I do to earn a living. And I was doing this thing, and I'm still doing it with passion. Because this is the only thing that I can do that will give me some small money to buy food and any other little things that are bothers me. I don't know what God plans for me in the future. That is, if I have future at all. I don't know about my tomorrow. If I wake tomorrow morning, if I sleep tonight and wake in the morning, that's the will of God. But I so desire that I would sleep tonight and never wake up again. Ah. I just wish that I would sleep tonight. I never wake up again because I'm not feeling alive. Sometimes I feel that death is the only option, the best. 
maybe to die and go to heaven stay with my lord jesus christ so that is it that is why i'm i'm doing this thing i love this thing that i'm doing though people despise it they mock it they laugh at me they jest me but there is nothing more i can do there is nothing less i can do i want to tell you there's hope for you it's because of people like you youth like you that are thinking of death thinking of giving up thinking that there is no god that's why god raised up Cetro's foundation and that's why he even brought us to a place like this for us to be discovering you i want to tell you there is hope for you and god will raise up helpers for you mm -hmm. so we are going to talk about you just come let's go inside i'm going to talk about you I'm going to do some videos about you about what you're going through and we want to believe god will raise up help for you so you have to say it that you want to leave me so god loves you if he did not love you he will not make us to see you today the fact that he has made us to see you means that he loves you he has a plan for your life i want to tell you anybody may not be there i don't want to mention him anybody may not be there for you but god that made your life is there for you jesus is there for you god is there for you holy spirit is there for you he has plans for you he's the one that made you before he formed you he made you so he knows what he wants to do for you so that's why that's why that when god was raising up a foundation like this he knows what he has in mind we may not even need to go to our house just do we don't need to go to our house so that's why god has brought a foundation like this hmm? god has a plan for your life he has a plan for your life we are going to do a video about you now and i'm praying that help will rise up for you help will rise up for you we come back and see this video and say thank god i didn't die and i'm going to leave so i want you to say i'm going to leave i'm going to leave it is ready to so having seen all that she went through when I encountered her, you've read about all the challenges from childhood she was thrown away and passion led her to doing work, rearing fowls and all the like that you've heard from her mouth. No, now we want to ask her, what do you like the foundation of people to support you with so that life will be meaningful to you again? I would like people to assist me to wear the bigger poultry and to make my chicken get bigger so that I can raise money from it. And also my writing, I like to write. So I would like people to help me to publish my, my book, my story, the story of my life and to make a movie out of it. You can agree with me that she's still very emotional. We just brought her right away into the studio because where we met her is so close to our studio. So she's still feeling the emotions, feeling like crying. She can't express herself very well. But what she's telling us is that that poetry, she has some chickens she's rearing. We have even promised to buy the chickens for her. You know, we have this mandate of feeding 500 families this December, we did something like that last year. So she, we want to buy, she said she has like 14 chickens that have grown up. We want to buy them from her, but she wants to make her poultry bigger so that she will have many more chickens, she will not be suffering. And she, the, the challenges have made her a writer. She even brought one of her manuscripts along. So she wants people to help her publish the book and also like make a movie out of the story of her life she's been through so many things and she's just overwhelmed she told me some things that i might not have to say on the camera because of some things that from childhood she has been through a lot so so never mind the way her face is looking she's still very much emotional right now but we believe god by the time people come to her aid the foundation is able to assist her to be stable she will have a reason for living and not thinking of dying. Can you imagine? She's the one that wrote all this. A good Samaritan helped her to type all these stories out. And just a mere look at the story, just reading the paragraph, 
Rafwan, so interesting. I know you would like to, to read this uh, story, our life experiences. So, I want to believe help is going to rise up for you, purity. Just believe in God. The God that spared your life to you today, the Lord Jesus will make a way for you. And I know it's all going to end in joy. So, families out there, this is another life that needs help. Whatever you want to do to help her, you are welcome. You have seen where she can be helped. She wants to raise up a better poetry. She wants to publish her book and do a movie out of her experience so, so that she can start living a comfortable life. You are going to see where she's living. You are going to see picture of her poetry. I'm going right away with her right now to get that done. So uh, we just believe her well for come for her. And this is just even, everything is interwoven. Do you know, that was what we've been telling you, that there are some families, they don't taste joy. They don't know what is called joy. They don't, I, I'm sure she's earning the chicken, it's not that she's eating it. That's why we've decided to give joy to people that are, that are the verge of death. We want to do, and God will really bless you. Nothing is too small. A dollar, sharing this video, ten dollars, hundred, anything you have, you can share this video to somebody that will help, and I believe we will help lives to be saved. Thank you. Don't forget the joy therapy. So we come in the next video. I will enjoy it to and etc. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye. So purity at least try to smile even though it's not like, okay thank and you see her smile thank you so very much apologies for just saying this now the video you just watched was done before i actually followed this girl purity to verify where she was staying for verification purpose but when i got to where she was staying that you'll be seeing now i was I was shocked. I had to hold myself. I just talked in a calm way because this girl is actually living on, on refuge dump where they drop, where they dump refuge. That's where she's living. As you're saying now, that's where she lives. And she doesn't even have any roof over her head. It's just a canopy she made do with where she's rearing her chickens that you can see. She's rearing her chickens once, one side. The refuge, the, the waste bins, the deaths are there everywhere. And she just laid a canopy to cover and she sleeps under it. And guys are all around. Different guys. As I went there, they were just like, ah, oh, what is happening that you're covering? I just said, there is nothing. And I think what this girl needs urgently, it's beyond, uh, just helping her. We have to raise help for her in her poetry and every other thing that she has said. But but gently, she needs a place to be put in her head. I think that this was why the girl was saying anytime she sleeps, she feels she should not wake up again. Because how will somebody be living on refuge dump where they dump refuge? Deaths. That's where she's living. And that's why we are seriously looking for an accommodation in, in the foundation place. It's lodging place for this youth. So many of them who are there that wanted, that need help, but there is no lodging place for them. But I don't even know what can be done urgently to save this world. So that's, it's so pathetic. I just have to compose myself so that she doesn't break, her heart doesn't break. So I just went on there. I, I could not cover that. We got there and so I just believe God is going to raise help. And that's why the Cetrus family is not that. We have the money. That's why we've chosen to do this. It's because God has called us. It's a call. It's a passion. It's our life. It's not that we're faking it or it's blood. It's not a blood. It's our life. We've been doing it from inception, not just when we started this. So we, assuming we have the, the, the funds, we would have just done it immediately. So if you're there, God touches you. We need a lodging place. Fast, fast for this girl and for so many other youth. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know God is going to help her so that she fulfills her passion. You can see the chickens she's rearing. You could see the chickens, the big ones, she said they've gone out, the smaller ones, and the poultry she made, can you see? It's not even well said Most of them that they were about 100. Maybe now they are 50, that they are dying because the poultry is not well littered and any other thing. So thank you so very much. Just keep the joy. I just want to manage to keep the joy therapy here, but when you see some things, I came back and I'm just grateful to God. In whatever situation you have, just be grateful to God. This is somebody living on refuge where they dump, dump deaths, deaths, different deaths. That's it.
Thank you so very much. We'll come and meet the next time. Okay, show us where you sleep at night. So this is where Purity sleeps at night. Done we now again your peril. La 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 la. Throw the ancient yuletide carol.